Welcome everyone. Today we're looking at creating an audio recorder using H5P on WordPress. So I've created my recorder already and I have a prompt that says can you please list all the months of the year in order and I have instruction. This is the default instruction that comes with the module. You can overwrite but I didn't and it says press the button to record your answer. You have a timer and you have a button that once you click it will start recording so now it's recording I can see the mic I can see it's recording and the timer as well so I record whatever I want I have the option to pause and once I'm ready to speak again I come back and I start recording again and when I'm done I hit done and I can listen to it so now it's recording I can see the mic I can see it's recording and the timer as well so I record whatever I want again I come back and I start recording again and when I'm done. So that paused, that pause section got taken out. So once you're done recording, you have the option to download the recording or to retry, record again. One thing to note about this is that once, once you are done recording, it doesn't really, the file, the recorded file doesn't get, doesn't get sent to the back end if you're an instructor or if you're an admin you don't see what a person recorded using this module it's only for the user to download and do whatever they want with it I haven't thought of too many things to use this for but you can include it as part of an interactive workbook if you want to drill maybe pronunciation where a student could listen to you saying a word and then they can repeat using the recorder and then they can listen to themselves and how they sound when they speak that is one use case that I can think of and this module can be included into an interactive workbook or into a column other than that there is not much to this other than just recording voice and downloading downloading the file afterwards. Let's take a look at how we can create this using H5P on WordPress. Let's get started creating an audio recorder using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is come down to your H5P content and you want to add a new activity or a new module. And from the list of modules you want to select the audio recorder audio recorder right here if it's not installed you can click on get to install it and then once you have it installed you can click on it very simple there's nothing to it this won't take long so we'll give it a title we'll just call this audio recorder the task what you can do here is you can write a question for example can you please list all the months of the year in order the text overrides or translations you can translate use another language or you can overwrite the text so this is all of the uh, all of the prompts and all of the dialogues that are within the module you can overwrite them to anything you want but that's it audio recorder title task description I don't want to show any tools and I'll click on create okay so this is what it looks like so you got a box you got an icon and it says can you please list all the list all the months of the year in a in order here's the prompt please uh, press the button below to record your answer so you can change this in the text override and translations you can change that 
you have a timer and then you have a button that says record so if you click on this button here you will get a prompt from your browser that says this website wants to access your microphone you have to click allow otherwise the recorder won't work so allow it is recording now so I can start by listing the uh, months of the year in order I can pause so the timer is paused and I can say some stuff that I don't want to be recorded and then once I'm ready to record again we are recording again that's great and once I'm done I just click on the done button and I know it's working because I see the microphone is reacting to uh, to what I'm saying you can see this I don't know what you call it like an audio wave so once you're done you click done and you have the option to listen to what you said so let's listen it is recording now so I can start by listing the uh, months of the year in order we are recording again that's so you see that jump that was because of the pause I paused and then I resumed recording and there was a jump there great and once I'm done I just click on the done button and I know it's working because I see the microphone so that's fine you have your audio control here you have a download button here and here you can just click on it and it will download your audio you can retry that is basically it you can grab the short code to put this on the website so you grab the code and you add it to a new post or a new page in our case we're gonna add it to a new post alright so we'll give it a name number 40 audio recorder and you want to add a new block and the block has to be a short code block so short code block and we paste our short code in there we publish publish I'm sure and then we view our post to see what it looks like and this is what it looks like So just as we used it in the um, in the preview so if I click record now it's not gonna ask me again to enable recording once you enable recording in your browser it will remember that for this website most of the modern browsers won't allow you to just record you you have to give permission first and then you can record to prevent websites from turning on your microphone whenever they want so you know exactly who is um, listening to uh, to you. So one thing to note about this recording, like I said previously, when you click done, it's not really submitted to the back end of the website. So if I was the instructor and I put this in a workbook, in an interactive workbook, I will not see this recording as part of the answers in the workbook. So this is basically for the user to download their recording or to listen to their own recording. So it is limited, it's limited in that sense. Unless you have another use case for it to, um, to put it on your website. I'm not sure what you would use it for. If you just wanted to add a recorder to your website for whatever reason this would be a very very simple and easy way to do it let me know how you use this module let me know if there is another use that I haven't thought of or talked about if you have any questions any ideas any comments please leave them below otherwise thank you for listening and I'll see you next time